Hello and welcome back and today we're going to talk about the reveal of the Synology live event. This year it's going to be online for, let's be honest, obvious reasons and it's going to be on the 7th of December 2020. It's going to be at 12 midday Greenwich Mean Time and it's going to be a single worldwide event. It's predominantly going to be in English, although there's going to be subtitles as well apparently and it's going to be an event where they talk about Let's be honest, their successes this year, they're going to talk about a lot of the things they've done, they generally do at these events, and of course, what they've got planned for 2021. Now, a lot of it we already know in some tangible form, and anyone that's followed my coverage of this event over the last few years on NAS Compares here, and uh, YouTube of course, you'll know that these events follow a certain form. Whether you've followed these or attended them in different regions of the world, and again, you might have seen me at a few of them, then chances are you kind of know the formula. First, they'll talk about the brand a little bit. They'll talk about the things that they've done throughout the course of the year, and they'll talk about some of those releases. Let's be honest, there's going to be the 20 plus series. There's going to be those um, the mention of those SMV SSDs as well as the SAT 52s. There's going to be a lot of talk about their software innovations, and generally there'll be a lot of mentioning of their surveillance stuff. But let's be honest, we want to know about what's coming. And Although, let's face it, if you just wanted to know about the event, there's a link in the description. Everything from this point onwards is conjecture, mild guesswork, and hopefully, fingers crossed, what we think we will see. So if you don't not interested in any of that, no worries, I'll see you on the next video. And of course, we will be doing a full breakdown of the event afterwards in one or two, or maybe even three videos. But, let's talk about what we expect. So, first and foremost, DSM-7, Disk Station Manager version 7. It was first revealed in the closing stages of 2018 in very, very, very early beta form, and since then, it has only grown more than that in the background. There was a private beta, which unfortunately we couldn't talk about here on the channel too much, because of, you know, you can't share these things. But, let's face it, what we want from it is, one, a uh, reveal of all of those apps and what's going to be there, and... Two, when it's coming, with secret number three, when is the public beta? When is everyone going to be able to bench test it, either in some sort of virtual form on their system or as a flat out test on their system? Now, remember, if it's in a beta, don't jeopardize your core data. Test it as a beta. Don't rely on it, but hopefully we'll find out when that beta is coming, as well as access to Synology Photos, Active Insight, Hybrid Share, all the innovations of uh, Synology's drive application and all the add-ons, whether we see a lot of that Mac support that we talked about last year. It's going to be interesting to see if Active Backup Suite and Drive has that file pinning and streaming and the options that was already present in the Windows platform already. Next, there's of course going to be mention of some of the hardware that may have been uh, revealed in your regions already or coming soon. Things like the DVA3221, the improved GPU 4 bay surveillance box that use AI deep learning, and of course the likes of the DS1821+, Plus, which we kind of assumed would be out by now. It's definitely available in other regions in one form or another. It's on official pages, but not all of them right now. So hopefully there'll be a bit more concrete information on that. And of course, there will be mentions of the likes of the units that have been released in the last couple of months, such as the DS1621+, Plus and the 1621XS Plus. They're almost certainly going to make reference to that and the rejigging of their portfolio. But what about rack station users? Now, well, a little while ago, we talked about how we kind of stumbled across some information with regards to the, 20, uh, the 1221 Plus, that's the RS1221 Plus, and an RS2421 Plus on documents. So it's almost certain that these are going to make an appearance in some form, if partially alluded to or something and almost certainly going to take advantage of that Ryzen CPU that we're seeing propping up more and more um, in different NAS devices and in the last two plus series releases from Synology. That's kind of it for what we fully expect. One device that a lot of people are still wondering about was one that we revealed last year which was in such early development it barely had a name and it was barely um, constructed it was there and that is the hd 6400 that 60 by 4u rack mount with top loaded deployment and it looked like there was ssd bays based on the rear as well but that could have been just something they had in the chassis that they never really followed follow through to fruition so it's going to be interesting to see if that gets released or 
becomes vaporware because Synology of all of the brands I talk about here on the channel, they have had the least amount of vaporware I've seen from any brand. In fact, I can only really think of two devices that never really got released and one of those you know, never even really reached development stage beyond a sample unit. And that was the SG-1000. And then, of course, that developed into um, other network appliances in other ways, I think in a software form in SRM. But on the subject of that, where's the new routers? A lot of people are wondering about a new router release from them because they've done very well with those three routers so far. The RT-1900 AC, the RT-2600 AC, and the MR-2200 AC mesh router. Now, with Wi-Fi 6 cropping up everywhere from your PS5s to your bog standard routers and even some ISPs entertaining Wi-Fi 6 equipped routers, it's strange that Synology still hasn't jumped aboard this. Generally, when Synology talk about a router, and it's happened in the past, when we first talked about it, it's been nearly a year till they're officially released. And that's happened with each generation of the router series. So it's odd, with Wi-Fi 6 growing in popularity now, that we've not seen a solution from them. Now, either one, we're going to see a Wi-Fi solution from them at this reveal, or... They are waiting out on Wi-Fi 6E. Another divergence of Wi-Fi 6 that a lot of people are tipping to be the more predominant force rather than Wi-Fi 6. So it might be that they're holding out for that. But this that's probably the weakest assumption we have of all the things that are going to come up in that show. Because generally, we would normally have CES on the calendar in 2020. And Synology generally will reveal stuff in, in January that's a little bit more enterprise we've noticed in the past. But that might not happen this year for obvious reasons. And finally, let's talk about storage media. They've done a lot of stuff recently with SSDs, be it in the 400 GB um, SNV um, 3400 and 3500 NVMe M2 SSDs for caching, or the SAT 5200 series of SATA SSDs that are available in several capacities for raw storage in their flash station series. I don't think we've seen the end of Synology dabbling with storage media, be it that they'll release improved storage capacities or they'll look into maybe U2 or U3 series drives because if you're going to go down that road and you have a range of devices that have SAS architecture built into them, it seems odd that they wouldn't go down that road. Same goes, we've dab you know, we've half joked about it before, the idea of a Synology hard drive. If they're going to go down the road of their own memory, their own NICs, their own routers, and their own um, SSDs, it's not unheard of, the idea of a Synology hard drive. And again, this has always been something that's been banded around in the background in the last year or two. So it's never, I would never exclude that from any of these shows. It's one of the things that's always in the back of my mind when I attend these shows, if and when Synology will go, meh, there's our series of drives. But of all of the things I talk about in this video, I'd say that's the least likely. But there's a link in the description to when this show kicks off. And again, it's on the 7th of December, 2020 at 12 midday Greenwich Mean Time. Hopefully there's a breakdown in the comments or on screen about the different time zones, but there's a lot of time zones out there, guys, and Google will help you with that. But otherwise, watch it with me next week and we will go through the results and what we've seen and what we, what, what we didn't see uh, in some future videos then. Click like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe to learn more, and I'll see you in a week.